car chat for you. This one will be short and sweet unless I get a lot of questions, but I just wanted to talk about switching up your training stimulus. Okay, so last time I did a car chat, I talked about training in ways that I like and look forward to, and a lot of that is like functional training and being a bad A and going all ham on my hit circuits, and I love that. This live, I'm talking about actually switching it up and doing some different stimuli in your training so that you're training different systems in your body when you get into the gym. So there's three different stimuli that I wanna talk about that pertain to the way you lift weights. Did you know you can train a completely different stimulus? I'm sure a lot of you have heard of hypertrophy, right? That's the word we use for muscle building. So you train in a certain way in the gym in order to achieve hypertrophy. So typically with hypertrophy, what we're looking at is three to four sets of eight to 12 reps as a very typical hypertrophy training um, style. So the goal there is to break down muscle fiber so you can rebuild it and achieve muscle size. <laughs> okay, that's hypertrophy. But have you ever met a guy who's like a bodybuilder or something and they have these huge muscles, but they, they, they'll they joke and they'll call themselves like show ponies or like it's not functional, I can't do anything with it. They can't even go across monkey bars or anything functional really. I mean, they kind of can, but it's definitely not a strength because they haven't been training for that. And then have you ever noticed some of these like power lifting guys or Olympic lifting guys that can like, or women that can like throw huge amounts of weight overhead or do these crazy heavy deadlifts but they don't really look that strong. They don't look, we, we think muscles equal strong and that's not true because strength refers to your nervous system. So that's why these guys, they don't look like all ripped and huge and jacked and muscular. They're strong. They're way stronger than a lot of the guys that have the big muscles because the big muscle guys have been training for hypertrophy and those guys have been training for strength. So their nervous system. So the way that we train for strength is lower reps heavy, heavy weight and longer rest intervals because you have to give your nervous system time to recover. So that's what I did today was a strength workout. So instead of doing, you know, somewhat hard weight for lots of reps, which I'm going to talk about in a second, which is a different stimulus. Um, I did heavy, heavy, heavy weights for way lower reps and way longer rest intervals. And what you, the reason it's so important to do that sometimes is because it trains your nervous system to fire more neurons when you explode into a movement. So you're literally stronger. So when you go back to doing your hypertrophy pump workouts to build that muscle, you can lift heavier weight, which is cool, right? And then the third one I'll talk about is a muscular endurance stimulus, which is one that I really enjoy in case you haven't noticed about me i really enjoy endurance style training whether that's cardio or weightlifting and this would be still going you always want to go heavy enough that it sucks right or you're not going to do much for your body but this is higher reps so generally three or four sets of 15 reps maybe even drop sets or 25 reps or things like that but you're just just going as long as your muscles can possibly go to pretty much failure so those are all three of those ways are really important to train right? And then, you know, it's kind of just like cardio. Sometimes you can do hit high intensity intervals and sometimes you just do slow steady state. We also have this in weightlifting, right? And so I have noticed, especially women do not often train for strength and we really need to, like you will be able to get so much better results if you can train your body to be able to fire quickly into those explosive contractions with a heavy weight and then rest it's not all about burning calories all the time, right? And you will get so much better results. Life becomes easier. You become more insulin sensitive. You build muscle easier. You can move around easier, protects your bones and joints because now you're not just relying on ligaments and tendons to do these hard movements, right? Because you've trained your body to be able to incorporate your muscles into those explosive strength style moves. So just throwing that out there, you know, like when was the last time you trained a little differently? Than you normally do do you always go in and do 15 reps of everything do you always go in and do eight reps of everything switch it up so hit that hypertrophy stimulus tip I'm, I'm going very general there's a lot of ways you can do this but typically hypertrophy or muscle growth would be something like three sets of eight to twelve um strength would be maybe uh i'll just stick with three sets but it would be more like two to <laughs> six reps, you know, three to six, four to six reps 
would be more of a strength stimulus, way longer rest interval, because you got to give your your nervous system time to recover from that. So like two to three minutes. If you're doing powerlifting, those guys, I mean, they work out for like four. The reason they're at the gym so long, if you know any powerlifters, is because they have to give their nervous system a long time to recover from a 600-pound deadlift, you know? So longer rest intervals. And then in muscular endurance would be um, not quite as long rest intervals, like maybe a minute and like three sets of 15 or 20, but still pushing yourself to that point of like, holy crap, I cannot do another one. So play with it, you know? Um, there's lots of fields of thought on how to optimize this. Some people believe that you should just do a strength stimulus for four to eight weeks and stay in that stimulus or, you know, with the other ones too. I don't do it like that. <laughs> I'm a rebel. I found good results from switching it up within my, within, um, you know, a month period. I might do a strength stimulus one day, a hypertrophy stimulus another day, a muscular endurance stimulus another day. So that's how I do it. I'm not saying that's like research based or the most optimal way, but it keeps, again, it, for me, it's about like loving what I'm doing in there and just making sure I'm getting a wide variety of workouts. I do slow steady state cardio. I do hit cardio. Like I try to switch it up often. So I'm training, training my body to be strong in a lot of different stimuli. So just throwing that out there. All right. Thank you all for jumping on my life. <laughs> Have a great Monday. Bye.